This topic is from 9th grade chemistry book and it is written in kind of confusing and theoretical way. And it goes like this. Pure water is weak electrolyte. It ionized to very little extent and concentration of hydrogen and hydroxyl ions are both at 10 raised to the minus 7 moles per meter cube respectively. And the theory goes on and on. Sure, the students are not interested in it any further. But let me show you something. This topic and this. Are exactly the same if the teacher demonstrates this topic in the class. Ever seen any demonstration of this topic? If you have seen, then it's good, but if you haven't, then it deserves to be seen. So let's go and have a look. Now this is the water electrolysis machine or electrolysis of water machine whatever you want to call it. It contains these metal plates separated by these nylon nuts. The bolts are also made of nylon by the way. A jar like this in which we will fill some basic solution shortly. A valve which is used to control the flow of gas. Some connectors some nuts and bolts to connect it to power supply an electrolyte the electrolyte is being used because we want our water to be more conductive over here privately I show you how to make the solution Add a decent amount of KOH or potassium hydroxide which is strong base to water and stir it. Okay, a little bit of caution here. Do not touch those flakes directly with your bare hands. Electrolyte is ready. Now we need one more thing. Soap solution to contain the gas. We'll talk about the recipe for the best soap solution in a separate video. Now it's the time to make some connections. So once everything is in place and ready to go, let's make some bubbles of an explosive mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gases.
Now, what is happening here is the electrical energy from that power supply is being used to break those bonds between hydrogen and oxygen molecules. And once the molecules are broken, the oxygen and hydrogen rise up through that body of water as gases and begin to collect in that chamber. Now that valve is apparently closed because I need some pressure and store some gas in here. Then I'll release that gas to that mixture in the soap solution. Never ever light bubble when that hose is in there. So put the generator safely out of the way. Bam! Look how cool and interesting this is. See now if the teacher demonstrates scientific principles in those cool demonstrations in the class, the study will not be a burden anymore. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and share with your friends this awesome learning experience. See you in another video.